Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and another episode of Bridal Plastic Girls Knives Out. It's time for Janessa the Serpent. So my loves, it hasn't been very long since the last episode of Bridal Plastic, but a lot of you really want to see how the next episode unfolds. So today, let's watch episode six of Bridal Plastic. During the last episode, we saw quite possibly the most Iconically dramatic, disgusting, interesting, weird interaction between Janessa and Alexandra when Alexandra was eliminated. I've never felt so like <clears throat> utterly gagged at something like that. I feel like this master manipulation situation we are seeing is so... I mean, a lot of you said to me, it gets really juicy later on in the series. But you weren't lying. You weren't lying, sis. You really weren't lying. It's a massive scandal, girls. So I do actually want to say that I have a lip gloss over my lip colour today. So if it does get everywhere, across my face, because I'm very expressive, don't come for me. <laughs> As these videos take quite a long time, why don't we just jump right in? Pop in my, oh, hang on. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Hang on. One. Two, are you ready to watch more serpentile activity? I am. I just, I don't know, I wonder if this is the episode that we're going to see Janessa's culmination plan, like, fail, I don't know. So who have we got left? We've got Kristen, who was like, who thought she saw right through the manipulation, but then suddenly jumped ship last episode, so I wonder how that's going to pan out, because she almost went, Janessa almost was like, do you know what, for the production value, I'll send Kristen home, but she didn't. She lied to Alexandra, so I wonder... I wonder how this is going to play out. Oh, this is so dramatic. I can't wait. Get your beverages ready, girl, and let's watch some drama, shall we? This show. Th who knew weddings could be so dramatic? I mean, everyone who's ever had a wedding, surely. Alexandra, as a manipulator, you would have realized today that you are being manipulated by everyone in the house. Tonight, you are Scandal. the biggest loser. I definitely Scandal. don't want to be in a house full of fake... Just going to pause it for a second there and just wonder... How, like, look at everybody else looking. They're all like... Ah, ha, 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 ha. I wonder who's going next. I have a feeling that, like, Nettie hasn't really shocked the boat or rocked the boat yet. My prediction is that maybe, without actually seeing any part of this episode, Nettie might go first. Let me know what you think in the comments box below first. Big bitches, and that's exactly what they are. And in the end, we'll see who the real manipulator is because it really is Janessa. Yeah, totally agree. <laughs> It's so twinkly. This intro is so twinkly for the amount of like backstabbing drama we're seeing. This intro is like. <laughs> right, of plastic elves. Dab. Right, come on. Oh, I thought it was just like haunting music. Oh my god. Oh. oh. oh, my god. oh. Tonight at the RSVP ceremony, I got the final vote. Okay, you need to explain, girl, that you didn't understand. I really want to be here. I want to win this thing. I want this wedding. So did you think like we were turning it all on you? Yeah. Oh my oh, god! god. I really? You would think I would do that? Too. No, no, but I yes. Want the time, like when you're sitting there and I'm like. It feels weird. Oh, yes, because Kristen was like, wow, you really think, right, so I missed something here because you're all not at my table, girl. That's what she was like, wasn't she? Now she has to, like, requiem with saying that. Is requiem the right word? No, requiem is not the correct word. What's the word? Not reconvene. Reconnect. Rekindle. I'd have forgotten the words. Uh. Me to not vote for Kristen because, like, that's my buddy, you know? But mm. I put a lot of trust into Janessa, though. Oh, you did. Okay. Why? Yes. Nobody knows. Oh, my God. We just stayed up until 3 in the morning kind of Oh, well, I was kind of missing, so I guess we just kind of forgot. <laughs> The scary thing is now- They stayed up till three in the morning plotting how this entire thing was going to unravel and nobody told Kristen? I'd be immediately feeling like, <gasps> They all hate me, girl! If that was me. And I think that's probably quite correct, especially with someone like Janessa being like, mm, I'm, I'm going to eat your eggs. Oh, okay, Kristen. More than ever, I know that Janessa's controlling all the votes in the house. She is. And that has to stop. No, I thought but you, you just said you were just like, no, gosh, the, the levels of drama already. We're less than a minute in. The, the way that they were like explaining last episode was like Kristen was in the bath, not the bathtub, the hot tub with Cheyenne going, oh, yeah, yeah, I really feel manipulated by Janessa. Uh, doy. Like, didn't she? Like, oh, a gullible lady, whatever she said. Literally, is she lying to us now and then revealing the truth in confessionals? So maybe she she does know what's happening all along. Got the levels. Got more levels than a wedding cake. Very apropos. No, I thought you were acting. I was like, at first I was like, wow, she's doing a really good job. Like, <laughs> it really doesn't matter that Janessa sat at my table. As long as Janessa's in the bottom, we have a chance of getting her out. Oh. Oh. I'm a little surprised at how easy it is to control the house. 
I can't believe that they're so naive. <laughs> she's got she's got to be a member of production team or something. She just has to be someone on the outside who's like used to this. I don't know. Every single thing that she's like doing, I'm like, how could you go onto a reality TV show not knowing anything about TV and how production works and edit the thing and be like, I'm going to behave like this? How would you know to fulfill the villain role so well if you've never had to do it before? Kind of makes me feel like maybe she is a wasp and laid eggs in her husband. Come on, girls. Oh, what a lovely plant. They love this shot. Mm -hmm. Hot and clean. That's not off the table. What? Oh, what? Well, you're moving to New York <gasps> if you move anywhere. <laughs> you know what, Janessa? I found her first. No, 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 you didn't. <laughs> we were in the same car together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting close to Nettie. She's like a little sister to me now, and mm. she's so energetic and bubbly, and I love having her around. She always Ooh. makes me laugh. Uh -huh. Oh, is that Mac, Goodbye, I see? <laughs> Mac full coverage. <laughs> Look like it. Oh, hell room. Purgatory girls. Oh, Allison. Allison. Oh, here we go. Time for How your brow you? lift. You feel all right? Oh. I know. Let's have a look, yeah? This is going to be the first time that I see my arms. I'm so excited. Okay. Who's this woman? Who's, who's this? Who's this little till lady woman? Who's this? Unexpected item in backing, 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 Please take your change. Whomst is this woman? Are you a recovery nurse? I'm guessing you must be because like, wh why are you here? Why do we not know whomst you are? Hmm? Whomst to be eating my quiche? <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. It's gone. Yeah. I'm gonna be able to buy tank tops and not feel horrible about the way my oh. arms look. Oh my god. Oh. Can you see? Yes. What? Wow. Okay. Wow. I had no idea that liposuction can do that to an arm. Look at that. The way that these two photos are shot, though, because they've, like, cut off any amount of, like, blonde hair or whatever, how do we know it's it's the same woman? This could have been, you know, uh, this could have been post-production being like, and we've just got random lady arm B. Like, to be like, oh, look what we can do if you visit Dr. Dubrow. Like, isn't that strange? And because there's only, like, four pixels, I can't tell if there's any, like, giveaway, like, particular things that... Uh, Alison has on her arm to be able to see if these are the same, both the same arms. <gasps> Scandal, girls! <laughs> How much this is flat? Yes. I mean, look at this. Oh my god. <gasps> it's gone. Yeah. That's the this same shot we saw earlier. This is an dream come true for me. I don't think <gasps> don't I've press ever on the seen myself with thin arms. Ever. This is gonna be a fraction of this. When your swelling comes down, it's gonna look like this. Wow. Maybe the thinnest my arms have ever been were in grade school, and I'd have to look at pictures to remember that. How are you? Gosh, Good, Alison, how are you? Oh, hello. I'm so excited because hello. I'm just really Dominique. looking forward to see finally what my nose looks like. <gasps> Today's the day. Oh, oh sticky God. goopy goo. Oh my God, you look so different. <gasps> Here you go. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's got that little bit of swelling here. So this little bit of swelling here, I actually quite like it. I don't know how to explain it, but like almost as if, if you have this swelling here that makes your eyes look slightly farther apart, you get this really like, I don't know, whenever I've like bumped my face or something, if I've like, I don't know, been in a fight, not that I have, but you know what I mean? When I, whenever I've had anything that's made this part of my face swell, I always feel like I look a little bit like a dolphin. And my goodness, you feel cute. Like I feel like this look is just cute. I don't know how to explain it, but it's almost like the further apart your eyes are, the cuter you look. I don't know. Does anybody else get that vibe as well? I don't know if I'm explaining myself correctly, but that's like the vibe that I'm getting. Like, look, look how different, almost like younger and cuter. Is it because babies? Do babies have really far apart eyes? Like, why am I feeling this? This is very interesting phenomenon I am experiencing. Am I alone? Let me know I'm not alone, please. <gasps> that is so crazy. She does look really lovely though, doesn't she? You fixed she? me. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Oh, fixed. It's unreal, like, I never even imagined this would ever happen. And it, it happened, like, it's, it's fixed. I'm beside myself, I'm so happy. Wow. The bad news is, wow. uh, you need to wear tape for at least a week, like this hideous tape. Okay. Not this. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, you fantastic. So yay. You're welcome. All of that, really yay. Awesome. <laughs> oh, doorbell girls. What a lovely romper. Huh? Oh, wow. 
<laughs> Delivery girl. A garden. An orchid. A triffid, maybe. <laughs> Okay. What are you, Nettie? Oh, Nettie, oh, what's all this oh, about? Oh my God! Girls! Oh my God! Oh, I'm really oh, really is this going to be flower arranging? Oh, is that the is that the is that the task? We run this week? downstairs and I notice that Nettie's holding a huge arrangement of flowers. Oh my gosh! They're real. I can't wait to see what this is about. Hey, ladies! Flower Enjoy arranging. Enjoy the fragrant smell of these fabulous. Fabulous flowers. <laughs> I'll see you soon at the showroom of LA's top celebrity flower designer. I was right, girl. Oh, my God. Obviously, now our challenge clearly has to do with flowers. Yes. And well I done, Nick. Yes. There's no way that I can be in the bottom three times in a row. That's just impossible. <gasps> oh, yeah, of I'm course. fighting for it. it just, it, I can't, She's out. No, I can't be in the bottom. Nettie's again. gone. Oh, I'm so gone. excited. Okay, let's go get ready. <laughs> Just abandon the flowers in the middle of the floor. Flowers. What's this music? Electro disco. Do you dream of electric disco? <gasps> bosoms. Flowers and bosoms. Oh, right, yeah. come on then. <gasps> oh. Hi, girls. Come on in and take a seat. So I walk into LA Premiere and I see all these beautiful flowers everywhere. Yes. And it's overwhelmingly gorgeous. It's, yes. it's wonderful. Welcome yes. to the famous LA Premiere. I'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine. This is shop owner and designer, Kevin Lee. Hello. Hello. Hello, Kevin Lee, my love. You have an interesting <laughs> hairstyle. Hi. Oh, you look so fabulous. <laughs> oh. oh. Especially you. My God, look at you. I look like a chipmunk. This is fabulous. I love it. Oh, it's a really quite fun sweet. day today. Oh, Kevin Lee, he left nothing to the imagination in those pants. Oh. You cannot help staring oh. at if it hangs to the left or it hangs to the right because Wait, it's just... Just, 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 just. Sorry, 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 sorry. That is a, an interesting thing to have on a show. Why are you commenting on a stranger's genitals? Gosh, why was this allowed? <laughs> it's in full view for all to see. <gasps> oh. That's fabulous. Well, ladies, Kevin is one of the most sought after. As if he was like fabulous to his own genitalia. That's the way they edited that there. That was an interesting edit choice. Is this one of those things that's going to be like, because he's a bit flamboyant, editing's going to be like, oh, wacky flamboyant Kevin girls. Like, mm, mm, mm. Their celebrity floral designers. He's done so many A-list celebrities from Christina Aguilera. Oh my God. Oh, Juliana Rancic. <gasps> Who is that? Kendra Wilkinson. Who is that? Ooh. Yeah. Who's Kendra Wilkinson? <laughs> and ladies, we are here to figure out your wedding centerpieces and bouquets. Oh, Shayna, this Somebody is Somebody who does Christina Aguilera's dress. wedding can do Allison's wedding any day. <laughs> also, we made up quite a few different, you know, bouquets. Oh, they've enjoy. given him subtitles. So let me show it to oh, you. Oh, no. All right? I like that, yeah. That, oh, this that's is very, yes, that's very, like, very And whose was this? Jenny Finesse's bridal bouquet. Oh my god. Well, look at this like, gorgeous bouquet as well. Jewels. This is incredible. So fabulous. Wow. So like you can have a long bouquet that like uh, orchids are dripping down. <gasps> or like uh, you so can lovely. have just all the flowers just it solid hat. like this. So don't limit yourself to be only one kind of flower. Can be all kinds of flowers, but with a style. Lovely. Kevin, do you find it's more in trend right now to have higher flower arrangements or kind of a low on the table? Actually, I like the combination of a high and low. So when you walk in, you create so much drama. No. If you love... <laughs> <laughs> talking about creating drama on bridal plastic. I am absolutely fascinated with the way that Kevin is talking about his passion. I mentioned this in the ball gown challenge. Ball gown? No, it's not correct. <laughs> Different franchise. In the gown challenge, I mentioned that it's lovely to hear someone talk with passion about what they love in life. So clearly this guy, Kevin, is passionate about flowers, passionate about the way they look, passionate about the, the ideas and the emphasis around them. So, I, oh, I love passion. Don't you love passion? Drama, here I come. <laughs> okay, I'm here. It's really great getting advice from a celebrity florist. Not to mention he's so enthusiastic about it. Exactly what I just said. For you girls. Okay. Yes. Let's see who fits better for these bouquets. Ooh. Looks like you. These are all gonna go in your bridal. Oh, it's, that one's a bit Claire's this accessories. This more like you. Oh, that's very B and Q. Lisa, that is oh. you. Oh, that is she loves orchids. Interesting. So, perfect. I love my mini bouquet. It's such a great idea, and he did such a wonderful job putting them together. And it's definitely going to be motivation to win. 
Kevin has been generous enough. Is she going to stab him in the back? Like what? Bridal plasty, all their wedding flowers for free. Well, you guys can think. Well, I mean, obviously. Ob can you imagine to be like, you've won this challenge, but you also need to pay for your flowers, girl. That was such a weird sentence to put in. Give your flowers for free. Ooh! Like, isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? What? Uh, very odd. Kevin, yeah. thank, thank you. you. And get your stuff together, thank and then I will you. meet you back get at the your bridal stuff tent together. for your bridal plasty challenge. Yeah. Oh, is it? It's going to be flower arranging, right? Surely. You know, flower picking. Being able to add my bouquet in the closet, it's like a dream come true. But I need to be focusing on just winning and, and doing what I gotta do. Brutus needs to become. Did you hear those two different? recording takes there it almost sounded like one was recorded like at home and one was recorded in the studio did you hear that that's a really interesting thing why did they put that in why did they put that in why was that necessary has that added to the storyline at all it's almost like the way that a show is edited and put together is like the extra person in the room isn't that interesting mm. yeah quite doing what i gotta do <sighs> brutus so needs to become olive oil Was that an ancient Rome joke? Very strange. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, the plastics have arrived. Oh, look. Oh Celebrity B. Juliana Ranzik. I mean, she is a host of E! News. She's had her own oh. reality show. She oh. interviews celebrities on the red carpet. Oh, that's why I've not heard of her. Juliana Ranzik here in Hollywood. I am Rancic. fantastic, Ryan. I gotta be honest. Can you feel the energy on this red carpet right now? Okay, I'm gonna try to milk oh, as many look more it isn't. as possible. It's pretty amazing to see her in person. It is now time for your next Bridal Plasty Challenge. Oh, wait, I forget this was on E! So of course she would be involved, wouldn't she? Because E! Entertainment was, like, everywhere in 2010. It was everywhere in 2010, wasn't it? So, like, that's quite an interesting concept. Oh, easy to pick for out the house if you're just employed by the network, isn't it? Mm. Well, you all remember Kevin Lee from the shop earlier today. I know. Hi. Hi. I have a new friend I'd like to introduce you to. From E! News and her own show, Juliana and Bill. Oh my God. Juliana oh. Rancic. I'm like starstruck. I'm like, oh my God, Juliana Rancic. I'm so excited. Hi, guys. Hi. Is that what you're like? This Cheyenne. is really exciting. Yay. Yeah. Well, today at Kevin's shop, you found out that it's obvious you need to have a clear vision of what you want for your perfect wedding. Okay. So we're going to test your ability to turn your vision into a reality. Okay. You will be making your bridal bouquets. Bright you flower arranging, girls. To design and construct. We've had a puzzle, we've had a gown, we've had bracelets. <laughs> now you get to arrange some flowers. Da. Do you know, in order to be a flower arranger, or at least a florist in the UK, you have to have a degree, an actual degree. Isn't that wild? When I first heard this, I was like, really? I just, I've never put those two things together, but I guess you do, don't you? Imagine also being like one of these people that's just like, I arrange celebrities for flowers. My fee is $19 million a year. It's one of those jobs that you just hear of that you're like, how did you get there? How did that happen? How is this a thing? Absolutely wild. Your perfect bouquet. You can use anything you see in this shop right here today. Ooh. When I call time, you must place your bouquet in the vase next to your station. Va Kevin mean will vase. Be judging your bouquets from a scale of zero to ten. Zero being terrible and ten being perfect. Oh. He'll be judging you on appearance, personal style, and lastly, durability. Also, Allison, you can just sit How tight. How do you and judge watch durability? The, the bride with the highest individual score will become our top bride. The okay. two brides with the lowest score will become our bottom brides. Obviously. And you heard me correct. We will have two bottom brides this week. Oh, just two? In 30 minutes. Starts now. Go on, Go girls. Go on. Grab that daisy. There is no Grab way that. in hell I'm letting Janessa win this challenge. It's up to me to take her ass down. I think she's going to win. I will throw because a you bitch that fit if Janessa wins. Careful. Coming Susan up, will get me. Oh, none of that. So today's challenge is to make our own bridal bouquet. Bridal bouquet, girls. We only girls. have 30 minutes to do it, and the highest score becomes top 30 bride. minutes? Yeah, and instantly. I want my bouquet to be big. Yes. Big. I want it full. So far, so good. I want it sparkly. Bouncy. And I want some feathers incorporated in it. Feathery flowers? What can you use everybody right. doing my bouquet? I'm not. Oh, yeah. There you go, Dominique. Okay, should I just fill in all in here? Yeah, just fill it in. Okay. Fill it, make it as full as you can, I think. So mm. I go straight for the, the purple hydrangeas and try to grab as many sparkly, blingy things I can get my hands on. Oh, oh is it going to look tacky, though? It'll not only give it personality, but it'll make it what Kevin wants to see. Oh, all right. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about husbands. I forgot. Husbands are involved in all this, aren't <laughs> okay. they? I do like that. That's very I thought little. like maybe orange flowers would look pretty with white flowers, so I grabbed the orange flowers and I put one in and I'm like, oh that looks pretty. Oh she's created a, a bling. volleyball girl. Ladies, you have ten more minutes. Gosh, that Are was quick. Kidding? I've never in my life even dreamt of putting together a bouquet, so I really don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. I'm definitely gonna try my best because I will not be bottom bride again. It's kind of weird hearing about all this because we don't know what jobs all these contestants have had. Let's just say one of them was a florist at one point. How would we know? None of us would ever know. So of course they would have naturally a better right at doing it. You don't even have to be a florist. You could be anything in the arts industry. Graphics designer, photographer, freelance illustrator. Anything with an artistic creative mind to see which colours go together and in certain patterns. But then of course we're having one person judge it, aren't we? Again. Which is the same thing that we're seeing week after week after week on Bridal Plastic. Is that the producers could literally just approach this one person and say, we want you to pick any of these three people, whichever one, you know, you think looks the nicest. We want one of those three people to win to create maximum drama in the house, girls. Oh, it's a scandal, girls. I wonder what this looks stupid thing like. Like, listen to the bumbling music. They're like, obviously, that's a stupid I'm putting decision. putting my bouquet together and Lisa Marie just will not shut the hell up. I don't know about this one. How am I going to stay in there? She has no idea what the hell she's doing. She can't even figure out how to tie a damn bouquet together. Yeah, but really? you just said Start that. You just said that. You didn't know that. You, glue, you glue, you glue, you glue. Incompetence. You need it to be full. So grab a color. We have a bunch of different colors there. And then on the other side, there's white ones. I would go Also, Netta, you could just say, no, lady, no. I'm overwhelmed. I don't even know which flowers I particularly want. Oh. It's looking cheesy. Like these, like... No, 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 not those. No, those are horrible. <laughs> not horrible flowers. Looking good. Um... Think fabulosity. Fabulosity. You better hurry. There's Ooh. only five minutes left. Oh gosh, the drama goes. It's gonna be a toughie because everyone's looks really good. Very crash I'm looking around to see what the other girls are doing. Oh, come on, I'm judging their bouquets to see if I think mine's gonna shape up to theirs or not. I actually laid an egg in my own bouquet, for I am a wasp. I just really don't think this is Lisa Marie's thing. Nettie is totally clueless. Dominique's bouquet just looks like she's skinned a Smurf. But Kristen is definitely a competitor. Sorry, what colour are Smurfs? Are they purple hydrangea colour? I don't think, Janessa. Do you need to go back to school and learn your colours? <laughs> oh, she's such a serpent, isn't she? Imagine judging flowers whilst wearing that top right there. Hoomst. Editive threat. Three, two, <gasps> One. I have no Bouquets idea who's going to win. Bases, no idea. Down. Okay, ladies, you're going to walk individually, one by one, down oh, the white carpet off. and present your oh. wedding bouquet da, da, to Kevin da, da. and Juliana. We are going to start with what, What's Nettie. Juliana even doing here, if Kevin gets to choose? Oh, Walking on oh, a bat to oh, be judged. Capri. I know how much is on the line. Ready? Hello. <laughs> you think you are happy with this? I love it. So I really hope that my bouquet scores you're well. Happy with this? Hmm. The music. What do you think, Juliana? It's too many flowers working together, and then with the bling on it, and then the feathers. Yeah, but it's a little bit like a hot mess. <laughs> it's just no cleanness to it. Just too much and everything to me. <gasps> I give you five. Oh. You put Ooh. together a freaking bouquet, Juliana. See how it comes out. Should I like to give you a five? Ugh, my life. Well, she has Cheyenne, a point. You are next. Wow, look at this. Look at the shape. It's so fabulous. Thank you. Yeah. The shape is very pretty. I'm very picky with the flowers. Gorgeous roses, just daisies. Make it a little like a childish. <gasps> it's pretty, and I love the shape of it. Why even have daisies available then if it's childish? Thank you. A seven. Oh. Okay, two Dominique, you safe are safe ladies, maybe? <laughs> wow. Oh. What do you think? Wow. It's a little too big for Bradable Cape. Too big. You know, that's how I feel. What do you think? If I can be honest, it screams. Dolly Parton to me. What's wrong with the Dolly Parton? More famous than you. Well, I think Dolly Parton, I think huge boobs. I really didn't see any boobs in Dominique's bouquet. This orc is coming. 
I didn't see any boobs in Dominic's bouquet. Well, that's the sentence of the week, isn't it, my loves? No boobs in Dominic's bouquet. Bosoms in the bouquet. Poirot is shaking. Don't make it just like a little, you know, chipping it. You were I talking earlier about six. things falling oh, down, so I don't <laughs> like oh. that. Mm. Miss I Marie, quite you liked are that. next. I'm looking down at my bouquet oh, and I'm oh realizing dear. like, oh, no, I could definitely do way better. And I'm like, be easy on me, be easy on me. <laughs> Why? Me check it this out. This is a competition. Oh. <gasps> Looks a disaster. Look at this, <gasps> dead flowers. Oh. Uh, they died while they waited. They oh. died while they were sitting on your Look table? At this. That's oh my god. Oh god. That's oh. interesting. Kevin. Oh. It's hideous. I'm frustrated that Misery can't really just dive into one of these challenges and really, really try and give it her all. I mean, was she really happy with that bouquet? There's no way. You know, hideous. So here it go. Oh my god. I'm screwed. So screwed. Hideous. Hideous. I give you a two. How about oh! that? A two? Out of a Scandal. Ten. I'm thinking. In the bin. In the bin. Kristen, oh no. It's your turn. Okay, in the bin, girl. Panic it's at the disco. It's my turn to be judged by Kevin and Juliana, and I really want to win another surgery. I if I was top like bride again, I really would have to get either my tummy or my thighs lipoed. I want to get back to the size I used to be. This. Oh. 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 The feathers are too much, and they're they're not in the right place. Go away, you know, Julia. Kind of Juliana. Hands at me, <laughs> lady. Uh, uh, wait, there were like feather hands. Yeah, it. yeah they did kind of look like hands coming off the side of it. Hands, feathery hands, but feathered I bird pussy. The shirt wise, it's a glamorous. What do you think of the size? It's a little big. What, for her? She just had a new book job. Oh. And his fits are How does he know? Scandal. <laughs> Psychic lady. By the way. You see, the fact that he said, oh, she's just had her boob job, makes me think, okay, so production have told you every single thing that's happened this far. Because how else would he know? If they just brought him in to be an expert in this one, you know, episode slash challenge, he wouldn't have previous knowledge of who else has won. That is a crack in production, girls. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this isn't going to be realistic. We have to take everything here with a pinch of salt because they have a plan. They have a plan of who wants to win the surgery, girls. Look amazing. Well, I'm glad my bouquet sucks, but my boobs are nice. <gasps> Secret whispers. Juliana, it's up to you. I don't know if you're going to be I'm happy or not. Please. We're going to have to give you an eight. <gasps> Wait, wow. what? Juliana. They didn't even say that. Did you hear that? They were just standing there like... And then the overlay was, we're going to have to give you an eight. They didn't say, look, watch, how weird is this? Juliana, it's up to you. I don't know if you're going to be I'm happy or not. Watch, watch, watch. We're going to have to give you an eight. None of them are speaking. Wow. Juliana. Now I'm in the lead. I'm just hoping that something goes terribly wrong with Janessa's bouquet so that she doesn't get top bride. Janessa, I reckon Janessa's going to win. I reckon I production want her to win. I am not going to be one of these bottom two. I mean, it's quite a nice I would love to be well. top right because I really want to get my nose done. And plus, I'm safe for two eliminations. Oh, oh my God. God. Why would production get rid of the villain? Coming oh, don't up, do it coming up, girls. Oh, skip. Bridal plastic girls. All right, back in the tent. Janessa, you the are gazebo. next. As Janessa's walking down the aisle, I am just hoping and praying that I can hold off Janessa and be top ride. Gosh, oh this, my is so, God. this is a lot, now isn't it? I just it? need her to right. have less than eight points. Oh my God. Is it good? Is it I bad? I have to say, of all of the bouquets, I would choose this one for my wedding. <gasps> Why? I knew, really I knew it. I knew it. You used feathers, but not too many feathers. Uh, she, it's covered in feathers. Yeah. Have you seen it? It's practically all feathers. So that's a lie. Lie, machines. Sweet you. These flowers are just perfect. How about nine? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Janessa, you are our top bride. Yeah. I'm finally going to be getting my nose done. I knew you have it. an opportunity now to pick it. one of the plastic surgeries off your wish list. And how You'll quick be was safe that? Not just this week, but next week as well. I knew it. Psychic lady on the game. Just call me Sally Girl. This sucks. I really thought I had another chance to be top bride. Now my biggest rival in the house gets to be safe for the next two eliminations. Hang on. Have we... We haven't so far had anyone who's been top bride twice, have we? I wonder if they can't have two top brides in the same season. Obviously, what are we on now? Episode six. I believe there's ten episodes of this entire series. So I guess we've got four more episodes to find out. But so far, only one has been top. So let's... Ooh, Ashley Ace, and none of the top brides have gone yet, have they? Hmm. 
Go pack those bags, because you are leaving immediately. Bye. Off to your surgery, go. Bye. At least she doesn't get to vote at the next RSVP ceremony. That's Lisa Marie, true. Nettie, That's true. She doesn't get to vote. You two are our bottom brides, ah. and you're now both at risk of being sent home. Yes. There's only so many times that my alliance can bail out Lisa Marie. And, you know, at one point, I'm going to give up on her. Because if she can't try and she can't do it, then why am I keeping her here? It's really yep, just very true. affecting everybody else. I will see oh, you all dear. at the RSVP ceremony tomorrow night. Bye. I'm in the bottom again. Great. Alison was so stunning over, like, Juliana just then. That was so, that's actually quite cute, cute to see. I love it when, like, someone's like, oh! so cool i really like that isn't that sweet even though i have no idea who she is and i just also don't really care to be honest but that's quite nice story of my life right. are you guys okay lisa mm -hmm. marie versus Can't nettie nettie's been in the break. bottom three times but lisa marie hasn't of course been I'm disappointed doing well bottom again so... for the third time but if you like me by now you like mm -hmm. me if you don't well then go screw yourself i can sit here and cry double eviction for a whole day or i can sit here and enjoy the rest of my time with you guys so drama Ooh. Bingo -lipa. Oh, recovery girls. Oh. oh. There we oh. go. Oh, mysterious Bingo. nurse. I'm good. Oh, Lisa Marie's come to get votes. Ah. Well, I hope you feel better. <sighs> trying. No, I know. It's just disturbing when you're trying to get better and it just won't work the way you want it to. Disturbing? I'm so numb to the whole thing. This time, people are like a little more quiet. Honestly, I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know. I'm feeling mentally and physically exhausted. This is like emotional torment. If you're questioning if you have my vote, you know I have your back. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so cute. I wouldn't cute. be sitting here with this surgery if it wasn't for you guys. It's so nice to hear that mm. Allison has my back because that's at least true. now I know I have one vote and that's there's hope true. for me to stay. I mean, it's not Alice, over till it's yes, over, you know? That's true. Lisa Marie picked Allison. Okay. A favor for a favor. Oh. Gag for gag. Hello. Hi. How are you? Oh, hello, Good Janessa. To see you. Good to see you. How are you doing today? Very excited. Good. So am I, actually. So we're going to do your nose today, right? Mm -hmm. Ever since do I can remember nose. when I was a child, I just always remember like looking in the mirror and any time it turned to the side, that was all I could see. So I just feel like it's very long okay. and I'd like to take that back. I want to make sure that my wedding picture, since my wedding's coming up, yeah. uh, I don't have the same problem. Imagine telling Dr. Dubrow, who's part of the entire wedding franchise of Bridalplasty, being like, my wedding is also coming up. So, you know, like, imagine if he was like, what? I had no idea you need a bra lift. Wouldn't that have been ridiculous? My fiance is going to love that I'm getting a new nose because if it's going to make me look better, of course it's going to make him look better. It's going to make you easier to borrow really into him to lay your egg. Careful, I'm going to do an amazing job, okay? okay. Sounds okay. great. Good. Ooh. Are they plotting against Janessa? <gasps> You know who you're going to like. Oh. I love Lisa Marie, but then I feel guilty for not voting for Nettie. That's Nettie. Nettie? Who? Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think if you watch my head, I feel like she's really offended. Oh. And I feel bad because I know it's like a confidence thing. I'm getting like a little like, come on, just like roll punches sometimes, you know? Well, what? and there's what people you, you connect with it more than others, and I guess that has a majority to do with it too. Is Dominique, like, really tired? Dominique's gonna vote for Nettie. This is amazing, because losing Lisa Marie would totally weaken their alliance. I feel like I've connected And that's Nettie the tea. Competition-wise, Nettie obviously scored higher. You know, I am feeling torn between Nettie and Lisa Marie because I'm frustrated that Lisa Marie can't really just dive into one of these challenges and really, really try and give it her all. I mean, how many times have we heard that phrase this episode? It, that she can't dive into the challenges and get on with it. Do you know what I mean? So I kind of feel like it's maybe going that way. Oh. oh. It looks like a disaster. Look at this. It's dead flowers. I always thought, like, mm, I think. Mm. It sucks. Mm. It's only going to get worse from here. Mm. Oh. Coming up. What? Lisa Marie was standing there. What? Bridal plastic girl. Oh, sorry, bridal plastic men. <laughs> a couple of big deep uh, breaths. Where's room plastic? All the way in, all the way out. I'm really oh, excited Janessa, going into go. surgery. Like I've wanted this for the last 28 years, or as long as I can remember. And 28 years. You've wanted it since you were like born. That you wanted 
a nose job. No, I don't. Mm. This is pretty amazing. Oh, baby to baby, baby to baby. From baby to baby. here to oh. here. It's just oh, too measurement. Long. So let's go ahead and open up the nose. Scalpel. First thing we'll do is go inside her nose and oh. take a piece of her septum. Her nose is not that bad. It just needs very subtle refinements. So I'm going to use that in the tip to stabilize it. I'm going to refine the tip with some sutures. And now we'll sew that into the tip and form the structure of the tip around this. This wow. nose is oh. a lot less projecting and much more attractive than this nose. Attractive? Attraction is subjective, Dr. Dubrow. Don't be saying anything like that. This tip is much more attractive. Mm, don't agree. Mm, I do kind of have a problem with that, with him saying, like, this nose that I've created is much more attractive than the nose she already has. Uh, I don't like words like attraction. You can say things like refined. You can say things like altered. Attraction is completely subjective. So I do feel that that's a bit on the nose, dare I say it? Mm, nah. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. That is beautiful. Look at that. I mean, it's quite upturned, quite strongly upturned. The vitals are good. Let's wake her up and uh, wheel her to recovery. Wakey, wakey, Janessa. Hi, Janessa. Hey, guys. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm really excited about this. Good. Yeah, I made a lot of little changes. Oh, dear. Overall, oh, everyone looks awful after nose surgery, don't they? It's going to look really it's great. Nice. It went very smoothly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh. You're really welcome. Oh, a fountain. Lovely. That was an extended fountain shot. All oh, the houses, the fountains, the gout. It's obvious that you're upset. Well, of course. I just want to make sure you're going to be okay if you like, go home. You know what I mean? Sorry, did she just say I want to make sure you're okay if you go home? Oh, that's very, um... That's a bit telling that you're not going to vote for her, isn't it? You have a feeling I will. <laughs> no, you're like, first no thing. it's not like that. It's yeah, just, see? I want to get your perspective on it. I don't want to be hard on Lisa Marie, but I'm just really trying to figure out oh, if she really Marie. wants this. It's obvious oh she's not fighting for it, and I really need her to tell me that yes, I can do this, and yes, I want this dream wedding. It's scary. You I do don't think she's gonna go better. though. It's like, <gasps> mm -hmm. like how would you feel if you go home without any like plastic surgery? Yeah, that's the tea. Okay. I'm, no, no, it's not to say that I don't care. I mean, I'm so happy to see all of you guys getting it done. And it would be nice so that if one of us, you know, each and every one of us got something done. Mm -hmm. How cool. I don't believe at this point Lisa Marie deserves to stay over Nettie. I feel like I keep bailing out Lisa Marie and all she does is let me down. It's only going to be one winner. No, I know. I know. It seems doesn't like, sound like it's gonna be is used, preparing is. me mentally to go home. Yes, I don't think she's like gonna vote for me, so yep. I gotta do something about it. I gotta get the ball rolling. Yep, 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 yep. That's the tea, girl. How are you doing? Oh, Janessa. I'm feeling really good getting back to the house. They and love it. They to... love changing these confessionals and putting like plasters and bandages on them. I wonder if they're actually out of surgery or if they're like, like when are confessionals filmed in a show like this? Are they filmed like as it's happening or are they all filmed like in bulk towards the end of the series? Like, I don't understand because they do change outfits. So that would suggest that they're filmed over certain different days. But like, mm, are they filmed all in one go? Give it the illusion or are they filmed as it goes? I'm very confused. I quite like the idea of them having to wear like fake bandages if they do, because that's kind of like amusing to like sell the fantasy, if you know what I mean. Heal and stuff, but there's still competition going on. There is. I can't wait to see what's been happening while I've been This gone. is all for a wedding, all for a wedding. <gasps> oh, oh, is she here? Oh, lady. Oh, she looks so oh, hey. wonderful. She doesn't even look swollen. I'm so happy because Janessa's back and she looks three, fantastic. We've had three nose jobs so I saw far. what I looked like and I looked... So much worse than Janessa. Hold on, turn to the side, turn to the side. Oh, Ow! Oh my god! Look, it's like short! Really okay, we'll see you later. Bye. We love you. Into purgatory ah! you go. Oh, I love everybody greets by just going, ah! Janessa it's is so like good. superwoman when she comes home. She didn't even come in the wheelchair. I think she just walked through the door. Like, wow, you just really had surgery. <laughs> So did I miss it's all that hate girl thought? keeps it's you going. Very quiet. Really? What are you voting for? Oh, straight to business. 
I have no idea. I'm I feel like I'm in recovery, you can tell me. It's a little lonely being in the recovery room because I'm used to Imagine being called a liar to your face right there and then as you're laying on your bed. You're a liar. I'm in recovery. You can tell me. No, Janessa, maybe I don't want to tell you. Serpent. To kind of having the pulse on what's going on in the house. I'd probably be voting for Lisa Marie. That's what I think. I, think <gasps> I really want Lisa Marie to stay. Of course you do, but Dominique. Very sweet also. Mm -hmm. Dominique, I mean, Janessa. Still vote for Lisa Marie? Probably voting for Natty. That was what I was a little confused about. I think that it would end up being a tie. She's so on. She's There's so... two girls in the bottom and four people voting. So yes. in the event of a tie, I'll have the deciding vote and I'll decide who goes home. Oh, that was a put in. Did you hear that? That was a planted. That was a planted sentence recorded elsewhere. Not there in the studio. I'll get to decide who goes home. She almost says it like, oh, I can't believe that I'll have to decide who is going home. But she's so like... I can't wait to send everyone home. Oh, it's a lot, isn't it? The drama, the drama. In this one house. Oh. I feel like it's if the I music. give a challenge and you have the bottom again. Like, no, 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 not even like, I didn't win like top ride, but I just like, I was just covered. Like I made it right in the middle. I feel like I had won like the whole thing. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, uh, Nettie has lost uh, constantly. Top, I don't care. I just want to be safe. I, I just want to say thank my fans. <laughs> Nettie and Lisa Marie have been in the bottom a few times, but Nettie's being mm. a really good sport about it, and she's being very upbeat and happy. I but think Nettie's going to stay. I'm always I do. like, I'm okay, right in the middle. You know, and I get so excited for everybody the music. else who has had something done. Two, two. And love to see you just be like, I wanted that. You know, I wanted to be top right. What's damn your it? number one thing? <laughs> I'm looking around, I'm looking at all these girls' faces, and I'm just thinking, like, maybe if I just remind them about what my story is about, we'll keep me here. <gasps> I had to deal with, like, acne as a very, very young person. Broke out my fifth and sixth grade, and it was very hard for me because I was the only one in, like, school that... Mm -hmm. It's very embarrassing for me to say. I remember getting oh, teased difficult. like a lot in school to the point where I'd be jumped like every day for two years. It was awful. Did they ever jumped? hit you? Yeah, and I never told my parents. Did you ever go to like counseling for that? Jumped? Mm -mm. After listening to the story, I feel bad for her and I really need to talk to Janessa because I have no idea what I'm going to do tonight. Sorry, you were jumped for having acne. Wow, what kind of piece of shits did you go to school with? That is unacceptable. Uh, jumped for acne. Don't you go... Oh, hateful. Absolutely hateful. Hateful, hateful children. Oh, vile. Oh, my gosh, I'm so oh. glad you're back. Everyone oh, no, loves Janessa. Yay. Oh, I, want, I think everyone's just frightened of her. She's doing really good already. I know, right? How jealous am I? I'm just saying. <laughs> So, so we do talk. Yes. <gasps> you know, it's kind of on the fence. So daddy stays at the house. I have to make a decision between Lisa Marie, who's my alliance, and Nettie. And, you know, I just really kind of feel guilty for going against Janessa. I don't know what I'm going to do. But what if it's a tie? You go ask me to vote. If there's a tie tonight at the RSVP ceremony, I think Janessa would vote for Lisa Marie. Mm-hmm. Obviously. Think you're going to be able to go? Okay, maybe I could go. <laughs> you think I missed it? I know. I think Kristen and Cheyenne will be voting for Nettie. That's exactly Probably 99.9% positive that this Allison's going to be voting for Lisa Marie. Exactly what she wants. I think it'll be hard with this one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to vote for Lisa Marie. I still don't want to throw that out there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not 100% confident. Goodness, how is this going to play out? Is it, are we on? Is it, <gasps> the RSVP time, go! Ladies, Quick, shush! Come meet me in the foyer! Oh, Shayna! I've got a pause on that. Look how gorgeous. Oh, maybe not with that face. Hang on. Come meet Oh, that was the best, I suppose. Look how gorgeous that outfit is. This sort of like black, lacy, floral nude illusion. <gasps> I really like that. And with the large earrings, she could have done with a little necklace that kind of matched a little bit. I actually don't hate this outfit on, on Sheena. Maybe I've become part of the Alliance. Wow. 
She, Shayna looks excellent tonight. As you can see, there's the RSVP box. So that means you will cast your vote for the bride you would most like to see stay. Here we go. Now I need the two bottom brides to come with me. Ooh. Nettie, Lisa Marie. Ooh. Who's just going to go? Yes. Being in the bottom for the third time in a row, it's like I can't catch a break. But I, I honestly right don't now, think you're going, though, Nettie. Because, like, hands down, Janessa would pick Lisa Marie over myself to stay. Although, yes, if Janessa gets in, yes, she will send Nettie home. I'm definitely feeling nervous about going ooh. into this RSVP ceremony because ooh, 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 I ooh. really have no clue how the turnout will be. My fate is in the hands of God. Really? It's probably in the hands of Janessa, let's be honest. Tonight really is a difficult decision. Production and aren't going to miss sure this opportunity. Go for. This Janessa I really like opportunity. them both, and I don't want to see either one of them leave. Gosh, whenever I see nose jobs, whenever I see nose jobs in any of these like shows, my nose automatically becomes really itchy, and I'm just like, ah, 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 ah. I don't know why it is. I don't know why, but it, that's what happens, scales. At this point, the decisions Vacuum. have already been made. So I'm just hoping that Dominique voted for Nettie. Because if I'm ever in the bottom with Janessa, I know that Lisa Marie will vote for her. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Coming up? Coming up. Ow! Oh. Right, here we go. Here we go, girls. The last, last leg of bridal plastic. The music's different. Going into this RSVP ceremony, I'm a little anxious. At yeah, this I'm point, not surprised, it's not Nettie. who do you most want to Ooh, see go? It's who do you want to stay? Runway. And that's Work what it, it should be about. Who Nasty. deserves this wedding? I yes. am more worthy of this wedding than Lisa Marie. <gasps> more worthy of a wedding? I'm passionate that's about staying. And I think by staying here, it'll just help me progress as a person and ultimately remove any inner scars and outer scars and have that beautiful dream wedding. I'm not sure this reality TV show can do that. Oh, Janessa's is in the wheelchair after all. So I'm just hoping well, that Kristen Dominique voted nice. for Nettie. Because if she doesn't, Janessa will be in complete control of the vote. And that yes. would suck. I don't think production if would- If Allison and Dominique vote like that. I expect them to, then my plan will have worked out perfectly. Ladies, Nettie, Lisa Marie, whether you stay or go, is in the hands of your fellow brides. We get it. We know the game by now, Shayna. Come on, go. Our first bride, Allison. Please step forward oh, and Allison. reveal your RSVP. I love both of you dearly. <gasps> so, I will make my decision. Oh, short and sweet. Lisa Marie, ooh, that's what she said she was gonna do. That's what she's done, okay. Lisa Marie helped to vote for me to get my surgery. Exactly. I she do was... not forget. Yeah, exactly, Next, she was never not gonna do Cheyenne. that. Oh, Cheyenne girls. Hello ladies. I made the decision just going by who I thought put the most effort into being here. Nettie, Nettie girls. One, one for one, relief. one I'm for one. I'm feeling great that we're neck and neck, we're 50-50. Yep. Things could go any which way at this point. And I'm just really glad that Shai had my back. Kristen, yeah. please step forward and reveal your RSVP. Kristen's gonna vote for Nettie, surely. Nettie, <laughs> what I admire about you most is that you take a negative situation and you laugh at it, and I love oh. that. Oh, all right then. Lisa Marie, <laughs> this decision tonight, I don't even want to cry over because I feel like I based it off of this person who really, really just fights and I can't, it's Nettie. crushing. It's Nettie. It is crushing for me to make this decision. It's I don't Nettie. want this person that I'm not sitting with to take it personally. It's Surely really, it's Nettie. really hard. Has to be Nettie. But I had to go based off of, if I went home against this person, would I be upset because I really worked at it? Yeah, I would. Yes, Nettie. So, Surely Nettie. There was Ooh. never any doubt in my mind who Ooh. I was picking. Lisa oh. Marie just doesn't deserve to be here. She's only here because Janessa has kept her here to have her vote. It's time for their alliance to die. Oh. And finally, Dominique. Very Power step Rangers. And reveal which bride you would most like to see oh, stay. What's going to happen? I have both Kristen and Shy at my table, and Lisa Marie only has Allison at hers. If Dom sits at my table, then I'm safe. 
On the other hand, Dominique. if Dom sits with Lisa Marie, then it's a tie. I Top actually think Dominique will might sit be with casting Nancy. a vote. At this point, yeah. I'm really nervous. Nettie, I'm gonna start with you. Your energy is just incredible. You're just such a beautiful person. Lisa Marie, hey. I root for you and, and I, I want you to do well, but I really don't believe that you feel like you A, deserve it, or B, want it bad enough like the rest of us. Dominique's gonna disrupt Why the alliance. Here? If you can't fight, I really don't believe that you have the self-confidence to do this. Dominique's gonna ruin Janessa's What plan. is she doing? Yes. Dominique, what part of alliance do you not understand? Oh, go on, Dominique. Ow, oh, ow, oh. what is this? We just had it coming up, we can't have anything now. What? Very interesting concept. Dominique, if you sit at Nettie's table, she will be safe and Lisa Marie will be going home. I'm sorry, Lisa Marie, but I really don't believe that you feel like you A, deserve it, yes. or B, want it bad enough for like yes, the rest of Yes, we've already heard this. This is an interesting I really edit do here. I believe at this point that Dominique is going to vote for Nettie. Yeah. I have been putting Same. my best efforts into these challenges. Hey. That's all I can do. God, this show is the so unpredictable. that I chose to stay is because I believe in them even though I know they don't. Oh! <gasps> Gagged! I voted for Lisa Marie. I knew production wouldn't do that. The best thing I can really do they is just want the stick close to the people I trust, and hopefully that'll get me through the finish line. But then you were also a well, sneaky, ladies, sneaky liar. Two brides at Nettie's table and two brides at Look Lisa Marie's table. Look what it table. comes down to again. We have a tie. Goodbye, Nettie. Janessa, as our top bride, you are the tiebreaker. Nettie, Nettie. She's just going to stand up and go, Nettie. Daddy. I think that you have made so many friendships here. You're definitely a great person. I'm glad I got to see that. But the person I'm going to choose tonight is just someone that has been there for me from day one. Of Janessa course. loves knowing that she has the power to send somebody home based off of how she feels. I'm so frustrated. I'm actually pissed. Wow. Gag! Nettie, your time here at Bridal Plasty and your quest to be the perfect bride is over. Your wedding will still go on, it just won't be perfect. Shayna, that is a hateful sentence, don't say that. Upset Look. That I don't get to continue. I like fighting for what I want. It's unfortunate. But you are saved that from this, Nettie. Lost to Lisa Marie. You are saved from like, this. Hands down, I could have lost to anybody else in that house with pride, but to Lisa Marie, it's a little upsetting. <sighs> wow. Janessa's a smart girl. She knows what she's doing, and she's known what she's doing since day one. Of course, but you, you, you were fully invested. Janessa better watch her back, because if Janessa's in the bottom anytime soon, her ass is gone. Well, ladies, another emotional RSVP ceremony, but I do have to say congratulations because you all are one step closer I wonder what Shayna is thinking. It's just like having no. a dream wedding. Wow. There are only six brides left now, and I feel more unstoppable than ever. And I'm not going to give up until all of them are gone and I win my dream wedding. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I am shaking, girls. Wow. I'm going to push away. I'm going to push away my laptop there, my loves, and take out my ohanger. That, this show, this show has to be so scripted from start to finish because the drama the drama my loves i sort of saw a glimpse of what was going to happen and then seeing it actually unfold the way that i thought it would is wild the way that dominique gave that speech that was like basically i'm gonna pick netty i'm gonna sit next to netty i'm gonna sit next to netty and then sat next to lisa marie and had us all go gag spooked and clooped i was fully shocked the whole way through just like <sighs> i said it last episode but this is getting so dramatic. The dr that when this was on TV, people must have been like, Ugh. people must have needed like smelling salts and a fainting couch for this level of like insanity that was just broadcast live. Well, my loves, let me know what you think about the um the episode that we've seen today. I'm kind of like glad that Nettie kind of only came into this competition was just kind of a little bit of. Like, I don't know, she sort of partook in the challenges, did what she want, didn't really get any, like, long-term complications from this show. 
Wow. Well, my loves, I guess it's time for the Patreons. And you can see yourself floating past here on the screen, my loves. Thank you so much for the support. If you want to become part of the Patreon, please check out a link in the description box below. You get access to outtakes. You get access to archived live streams. You get access to the Discord. You get extra posts and all sorts of extra juicy goodies, my loves. And today's Twitch shout out goes to Daydreamer89, my love. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured, in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you go and follow me over on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays and I stream three nights a week. I'm still a bit like gooped about what we've seen. My like words aren't coming out properly and I'm so used to doing this by now. It's bizarre. Truly, truly bizarre. And I want to say a massive thank you to the top tier Patreons. Erwin Fox, Stephanie Neotupski, Gaydra Floon, Erin Conkle, Magusta Lagoose, Steffi Tech, Caitlin Wright, Dana Broderick, Moldy Apple, Orko Samoji, Jared Pavlovsky, Jodia, Summer Neff, Shell Herman, Victoria Wall, Doc, ContraPoints, Jenny Hendrix, Min Min TM, Caitlin Coating, and Abigail Ash. Thank you so much for your continued support, gorgeous people. I can't believe that list is so long now. <gasps> Scandal girls. And you know what? I'm gonna leave this video on the note of like, a wedding surely isn't worth this much stress. Is it my loves? Remember, it's all about you and your significant other. Um, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Wow.